Well, hi there. I am Sandy Alnock, and I am here celebrating Ellen Hudson's 11th birthday anniversary for her company by using Distress Oxide inks to make a Christmas thistle wreath. We were asked to use some of our favorite products. This just happens to be one I hadn't used yet, but I'm going to use some other favorite Ellen Hudson products with a couple of these stamps. These are just some solid stamps that we can use to make a Christmas wreath card. But this is one of my favorite Ellen Hudson products. This is the Craft Assistant. It's 12 by 12 and it's metal and it's so easy to clean up. It's like way easier than anything I've ever used. So I'm gonna grab some Arches watercolor paper, cut squares to do these because you're gonna be able to make something round a little bit easier if you have a square. If you wanna make a rectangular card, draw yourself a line so you know where your, your square is. I'm gonna throw some Distress Oxide peeled paint onto the Craft Assistant, and I'm gonna spray half of it. So part of it is gonna be watery mushy, and part of it is not. And I'll show you why. So that bottom half is kind of wet and soupy, and the top half is not. So I've got my stamp here. You can see how much water there is underneath that stamp. And I'm just gonna stamp it someplace on here to start off my wreath. And look at how beautiful and watercolory that looks. I can take a brush, my silver brush, number eight, and finish off the leaf, but not perfectly. No need to make it absolutely perfect because it's all gonna blend into a bunch of other leaves anyway. This Distress Oxide ink, I've been doing a little research. I'm slow to the game. This is my, I have only bought two pads of it, so I don't know much about them, but it's partially acrylic and partially Distress ink. So it's a little, little properties of both, and it does some really interesting mixing things. So here I'm stamping part of, like that bottom part, that I just did, I wanted to create that inside edge of the wreath. So I just pushed part of that leaf stamp down. And then I can join it all up with a little bit of water and just mush it around a little bit with a brush. I'm gonna turn it, and this is where the square comes in handy because you can start to create that roundness by keeping all of those outside edges around the same distance away from the edge of that square card. If you were to do a rectangle, um, I'm just gonna tell you, I tried it on a rectangle, this is why I'm telling you to do it in the square. Tried it in a rectangle and I ended up with ovals instead of round wreaths. So there you go. It's a little bit easier if you do it as a square. So I'm just stamping now a couple times over a little bit more of the ink so that I can then finish my painting along here and just create some fun edges for my wreath. There are a number of stamps in this thistle set that you can do this with. And of course you can paint the thistles the same way. If I had thistle colors in the Dist Distress Oxide inks, I might try a thistle. But since I do not have a purple or a blue or anything other than red or green, because I got these as a treat for myself to practice with Christmas cards, um, yeah, then I can't do thistles. So here I'm going to use a little bit more solid ink because I want a hard edge. See that inside edge that it created? It's just a little bit more detail when you don't use as much of the water with it. So keep part of that ink as the uh, just the thick ink and part of it as mushy and have that water in it. And you have the option then to do both. So I'm going to go around my, my wreath with just stamping a little bit of the edge. I'm only pushing on that outside edge so that I get that little delicate uh, kind of contour to my wreath. And if you have some areas that don't look perfect, just throw some water on them. Otherwise, just do a little bit of stamping to create that beautiful outside edge. I'm gonna throw a little bit more in here because I was noticing I was looking a little oval and not as roundy. And I think the wreath is just about done. Now I've got this, like I said, I've got my, my red, I got my fired brick, and I'm gonna toss a little bit of this in here. If you like the look of what I'm doing here, it's going to melt into it a little bit. I'm just doing a dab, just little tiny dots to make little berries. Um, do it while it's wet. If you want them to be rounder and harder lined, 
then wait till it's dry and then it won't mush in as much. You could also do your berries with uh, stickles, with all different kinds of products. So I set that aside to dry so I can finish the card later, but I'm gonna show you a different stamp from the Thistle set. And this is one of the little Thistle heads. And this one, I was skeptical that I could get this to work, but when I did, I thought this, this is even a better stamp than that leaf to make a wreath. And once you start doing these, you're gonna be thinking, okay, how many colors could I do this with? Because I could I do a spring wreath? A spring wreath would be really pretty in some bright spring colors. There's just so much you can do. There's swags you can make with just a thistle stamp set. Because look at these delicate edges I can get with this little thistle head. Isn't that beautiful? And I can alternate using the the thicker pigment and the watered down pigment to give myself hard edges and softer edges as I go around my wreath. And I mean, this is, this is just highly addictive. I can't tell you how many of these cards that I made already, and I'm probably going to make a lot more because they're so much fun. I might even do a whole bunch of them like for one of my church groups or something because I want to have excuse to make more of them, but, but I don't like giving everybody the same card. I know a lot of you guys love to make like a hundred of the same thing and that's your Christmas card of the year. I like having all of them different, but for this particular thing, I think I'd love to just sit and play with these stamps and see what kinds of wreath shapes I can get out of this set and some of the other Ellen Hudson sets too. She's got lots of different flower type things and that would be just a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. I could see myself wilding away way too much time. But doing it with the craft assistant is of course super helpful. Sorry, the color's getting all of a sudden really light here on the screen. Uh, maybe because my hand is moving so fast and I'm having so much fun doing all this crazy wild stamping. So now I'm gonna take the brush and move some of that color around just mush up a few areas and leave some of that outer edge. Ah, now the color's coming back. Thank you, camera. And soften up some of it, but leave some of those feathery, feathery, feathery areas so that I have a different kind of wreath edge. And I like these distress inks, or these uh, distress oxides, because look at the different kinds of greens that you get. There's that really light pale green, and then that kind of thicker, heavier, darker green, all out of peeled paint, which is one of my favorite distress colors, by the way. And so again, I'm gonna drop some red little dots into the wet pigment. So they're gonna be real soft and mushy and feel really loose on top of all of this beautiful green pigment. I have a feeling I might have to ask Santa Claus for some more distress oxides. Uh, yeah because who doesn't need more of this in their life, right? <laughs> so for my sentiment, I pulled out this other set called Modern Christmas. It has a to and from that you could use, but it also has these beautiful, simple Merry Christmas and Holiday Cheer that are outlines of the words. And I thought that would be a really classy thing to put on top of these panels. And then I've got a really thin layer of black around each one of them. And then I have that on a red card base to just accent that color. And I think they're beautiful. I think they're just gorgeous. Now, since we are also talking about our other favorite Ellen Hudson products, I have to tell you, I could not live right now without these storage envelopes. They're nice and thick and they now come in four sizes, if you did not know that. They have these teeny ones, little itty bitties for small sets. They have the regular size ones, which they've had for a long time. And all the Ellen Hudson products come in her envelopes. And then there's these tall skinny ones that work for all my MFT sets because I'm getting a growing collection of them. And then this one is from Winnie and Walter and it's a huge set. And they have these really giant ones as well. So there's four sizes to store all of your lovely stamps. And I could not live without them. So thank you for joining me for my lovely, beautiful wreath cards today. Be sure to go to my blog so you can pick up the link to the next stop on the hop celebrating Ellen Hudson's 11th birthday. Yay for Ellen Hudson LLC. Could not do what I do without Ellen and all of the goodies that she has in the store that I have to buy.
Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a really awesome day.